My name is Lou Spencer. I'm the assistant business manager of United Association, local union number five, plumbers and gas fitters, and I support the National Infrastructure Bank. As you heard earlier, the economy is a mess and a fracas is unfolding on how to fix it. Let me take a few moments and explain what this means to working families like the ones that belong to UA Local 5 plumbers and gas fitters. It is really important to look at the market and the world around us as it really is. Work is plentiful for the time being. However, inflation is high, interest rates are high, and there is always uncertainty about the future. Amazingly, some policymakers are proposing even higher interest rates for the purpose of creating unemployment as a means of bringing down inflation. There is a better solution. The creation of a new national infrastructure bank will allow the United States to build our way out of this predicament. This bank will cost the federal budget extraordinarily little, next to nothing, while creating millions of high paying jobs and bring real solutions to transportation, manufacturing, while improving our standard of living. We know the infrastructure development needs require careful planning and a reliable source of long-term funding for it to succeed. It is most unlikely that adequate infrastructure financing to cover all the nation's infrastructure needs will ever come from the federal budget. I want to share a few key points. These days, there are a lot of talk about apprenticeships and workforce development. The American building trades have been in the business of providing register apprenticeship opportunities for over half a century. There are hundreds of well-funded apprenticeship training programs across the land. These programs will produce the skilled tradespeople necessary to carry out the work needed to build the infrastructure funded by the National Infrastructure Bank. America's building trades have been in the business of conducting workforce development for over 100 years. Not only do we have the aforementioned registered apprenticeships, but all the trades have recruiters and organizers who are out every day encouraging all workers and citizens to make application with their local union. The pandemic caused many adults to rethink their careers and the National Infrastructure Bank creates the demand for new tradespeople needed to build America's much needed infrastructure. These employees will be employed with existing contracting businesses and new contracting businesses. So in addition to apprentices enrolled in apprenticeship, and tradespeople from all walks of life entering into new careers, we're going to need a lot more contractors and office professionals, more project engineers, more project managers. So America's community colleges and universities have an important role to play here as well. We're going to need contracting professionals to administer the great work brought on by the National Infrastructure Bank. Our nation requires improved highways, roads, bridges, mass transit, water and wastewater treatment facilities, seaports, rail, electric power, telecommunication systems, and airports. The National Infrastructure Bank will uplift millions into respectable careers, build up and link up our urban and rural areas, support commerce and manufacturing, and restore a sense of dignity and confidence to our great nation. We are at the precise moment in history. This opportunity is here now. We must act. Future generations will thank us. Have a great evening and thanks for listening.